my mom was a Sunday school teacher when she was living. She taught me a really important thing, man. I'm gonna just get real short. I'm never normally this short. I usually spend time, but we crunch for time. Uh, don't forget to pray. But don't be ashamed to pray. And don't be too proud to pray. Because prayer, prayer changes things. Listen to me. You saw an example of it today. This man been gone 36 years. Prayer changes things. I don't care how dark it looked for you. I don't care what, what they done said to you. I don't care what the verdict is. I don't care what the haters say. Prayer changed things. I'm talking to a girl that I grew up on a block, man, that it didn't breed success. A lot of people on our block ain't here no more, man. I grew up in a place, man, that was, that was, you had to be something else, you come up out of there. Prayer changes things. <laughs> I was told I would never be nothing. Prayer changes things. I flunked out of school. Prayer changes things. I'm on my third marriage, lost everything I've owned twice. I've been homeless and lived in a car for three years. Prayer changes things. Prayer. The cool thing about prayer is the one thing that's available to everybody at any given time. Do you know that God ain't ever too, he ain't ever too busy for you? You know that God actually knows who you are? Do you know that God actually created you to converse with him? Do you know that God would actually love to hear from you? Do you know that I like talking to him even when I don't really need nothing? So when I do need something, I don't want to have to introduce myself to him. Listen to me, man. Quit playing with this here. You're not going to make it without God. If you've tried it so far, tell me how that's working out for you. It sucked, don't it? You need God. Don't, don't you think I got here without him. I've needed him every step of the way. If it wasn't for God, I wouldn't even be standing here today. I'm telling you right now, you need God. You need to tell him that you need him. Quit being ashamed about it and worrying about who looking. Go somewhere by yourself today and tell God you need some help. Tell him that you're just tired of trying to figure it out for yourself. He already know you got problems. See, God saved anybody. God saved me. Now listen to me. You ain't got to like the way I'm saved. Steve, you be cussing though. Okay, cool. I got all that. I got all that. I still shoot dice. I got all that. I drink scotch out of cups straight. I smoke cigars. But guess what? He still saved me. He saved me to be this way. You can't be tripping with my walk with him because my path ain't been like yours. So this is my version of Christianity. This is my version of being saved. All you got to do is get your own version. Quit tripping thinking that God going to turn you into some Bible-toting, breast-beating, that you got to go around and ring people's doorbells and try to convert people. I'm not in the soul conversion business. That ain't what he created me for. You want to go to hell? Bye. Now, if you want to hear this little message I got for you, cool, here it is. This is the level of my Christianity. Just get it the level you at. You ain't got to change. God work with you. God take hard people like me and turn them into Christian. God take soldiers like me and turn them into Christian. He take old hoodlums like me and turn them into Christians. He, he, take, he, take, dude, he take drug boys and turn them into Christians. He take women off of poles and turn them into Christians. God take women who had children out of wedlock, turn them into Christians. God take anybody that want to be saved and he saved them. So just like old people used to say, I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody that can save anybody.